Hello everyone. Um, <clears throat> so this is a continuation of the um, videos on Jewish beliefs. Um, last lesson you'll remember going through this worksheet. The worksheet for today continues on. So where it concluded here when you're doing the work, um, if you just go back to that same document, it'll have the work for today on it. So we're going to be focusing in on this aspect of our um, syllabus map, looking at the principal beliefs of the tradition, and we're going to be focusing in on the um, divinely inspired moral law um, given by God and the concept of the covenant. Okay, so... So as we go through this, just um, you can fill in the um, PowerPoint as you go. Um, I'll see how long the video goes for and I'll, I'll probably stop it um, so that you have some time to fill in the worksheet. Okay, so the divinely inspired moral law is basically done because God realised that, well, I need to spell this out for these people because they keep getting it wrong. Um, the previous video was looking at all the um, attributes of God, the omnipotence, omnipotence omniscience, um, omnipresence, etc., the oneness of God. Um, this is sort of how what he said to human beings to keep them on the right track because they kept getting it wrong. Um, so what he what he did then was literally spelt it out for um, the people. Now before. Um, we had, <clears throat> excuse me, before we had um, Abraham, there was Adam, as in Adam and Eve, and then um, Noah, Noah, the guy who um, built his ark for uh, when the flood came. And what is now written down, which wasn't at the time of Noah, this was written down a, lot, a couple of thousand years later, um, were these concepts of the seven laws of the sons of Noah. Just have a look at those and see what you think they're similar to. Okay, so hopefully you would have come up with the idea that they're similar to what we sort of know as the Ten Commandments. Now, it's gone from seven to ten um, pretty quickly, um, but it's from these seven laws that all of the other prescribed laws um, given by God have stemmed from. So it started at, these, at the oneness of God, so essentially there's one, and that should be enough information, but it's obviously not, so he's extended it out to these seven. Um, the first one, you can't idolise anything other than that one God. You shouldn't say anything bad about God. You can't murder other people. Notice it doesn't say kill. It says thou shalt not murder because there's a difference between killing and murdering. Um, you shouldn't steal other people's stuff. You shouldn't commit um, sexual immorality. or um, So that that's like um, sexual abuse and rape and whatnot. Um, you shouldn't be cruel to animals. And you should have a court of justice just in case um, there's confusion about any of these previous six that people haven't done. So um, sort of getting closer to prescribing what people are supposed to do. Now, that um, should have been enough, but it wasn't. So what they had to do then was they had to, from those seven, it was times by, I don't know, what's that, nine times, um, to well, a little bit under nine times, to get to these 613 mitzvot. A mitzvot, another name for a mitzvot, is the, um, a commandment. And... There are 600 of these, 613 of these that have stemmed from these original seven. Um, and this is called, the collective term for the 613 mitzvot is the halacha. Ugh, halacha. It's a really hard CH in Hebrew. Um, so I would pronounce it halakha, but um, it's supposed to be halakha. It's a, it's a really hard CH in there, but different to the ch sound that um, English would associate with a CH. Anyway, those 613 commandments um, are pl sorry, that's the plural. The mitzvot is the plural. Um, if it was singular, it would be called a mitzvah. So one, one mitzvah or s multiple mitzvot. So the plural is mitzvot, the singular is a mitzvah. And there are 248 positive um, mitzvot and a negative mitzvot for every day of the year. 
um, you're going to be doing a little task at the end of this um, where you're going to be having a look at um, these mitzvot and what they entail. Um, I might just stop this video here so that you can fill in that uh, worksheet, have a conversation with your teacher, and then um, we'll get on to the um, concept of the covenant afterwards.